Ukrainian army suppressed Russians in Kharkiv, serious problems arose in supply of occupying army. The Russian-Ukrainian war continues and the Russian Federation does not stop trying to break through the Ukrainian defense line in the Kharkiv direction. Yuri Fedorenko, commander of the battalion of strike unmanned aerial systems Achilles of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade said this, despite the fact that the defense force masterfully carry out assigned tasks and inflict defeats on the enemy in all categories of targets, from manpower to their air defense systems, the enemy retains the ability to bring in reserves, replenish their losses and maintain high dynamics of combat operations, Fedorenko said. He added that the enemy is currently using all available weapons in this direction and is trying to maintain a high level of combat dynamics. Despite this, the defense forces are still taking the initiative. All our positions remain ours. The enemy is not successful in advancing into the depths of our operational space. As for our actions, there have been specific successes in dislodging the enemy from a number of positions. All dislodging is happening with heavy counter battles, but there is no success. Fedorenko added, the military official also spoke about the enemy's main capabilities in this direction. One of the enemy's main firepower, in addition to what sometimes seems like an endless number of personnel, is the active use of aviation, which strikes with cabs not only along the line of combat engagement but also in particular at the frontline villages and cities. Those pilots who launched missiles on July the 8th, they clearly know and understand where they are launching them. Ukrainian attacks on Russian supply lines have left Russian units scrambling for food, water and ammunition, blunting Moscow's renewed invasion into Ukraine's northeast Kharkiv region, according to Ukrainian field commanders who shared radio and phone intercepts and results of their interrogations of Russian prisoners of war. The extensive interviews with 10 Ukrainian commanders and troops operating across the front line in Kharkiv including several who monitor Russian communications and who question prisoners of war immediately after they are captured, paint a picture of increasingly desperate Russian ground troops who are losing personnel and momentum after re-invading across the border in May. In the transcript of one radio conversation intercepted in June and shared with the Washington Post, a Russian soldier orders another to ensure incoming troops responsible for carrying supplies understand that there is a dire shortage of food and water. Tell each of them, do not listen to the guide who says that water is not needed, food is not needed, everything is here, the soldier says. There is nothing here. The steep losses and degraded condition of Russian units on the front show how Moscow's invasion of Ukraine has resulted in a grinding war of attrition with major territorial shifts. Russia loses 200 to 250 soldiers daily in Ukraine, Russian media. Russian military casualties have significantly increased in recent months, reaching approximately 200 to 250 soldiers per day. Independent Russian outlet Medusa reported, citing its own investigation. The journalists said they arrived at their operational estimate using data from Russia's official registry of inheritance affairs. This estimate is based on a mathematical model that considers the age distribution of newly discovered fatalities and their known probability of inclusion in a name by name list of deceased soldiers of various ages. The analysis suggests that the data from the registry allows for an approximation of the real number of casualties as the database refers to about 70% of all deaths in Russia. However, not all deaths result in an entry being opened. Based on their calculations, the journalists reported that since the beginning of 2024, Russian losses have increased by approximately 39,000, nearly doubling the average casualty rate of about 150 soldiers per day seen in the last three months of 2023. Now the rate is closer to 250 soldiers per day. According to Medusa's model, at least 120,000 Russian soldiers have died since the 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Considering the margin of error, the actual number lies somewhere between 106,000 and 140,000. Ukraine's general staff estimates that the Russian military's personnel losses surpassed 545,000. The overall consensus is that it includes dead, wounded, missing and captured. In February, Zelensky said that 180,000 Russian troops had been killed since the start of the all-out war. 
The president said that over 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed during the same time. Western officials gave similar estimates about Russian battlefield losses. Leo Doherty, British Minister of State for the Armed Forces, said in late April the UK estimates Russian losses to be over 450,000. We estimate that approximately 450,000 Russian military personnel have been killed or wounded and tens of thousands more have already deserted since the start of the conflict. Doherty said in Parliament the number of personnel killed serving in Russian private military companies is not clear. He added, 